How is everybody? Good. Good. Okay. I'm having a, some conflicted thoughts. I have a message, and I'm thinking about doing something different. And I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead with what I was going to do. Today's lesson is on discipline. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Who's first? <laughs> No, it's not that. Huh? We're not cutting up a tongue today. We're going to build a couple things, I hope. I hope this works the way I... Do what? I brought a what? A tongue. The tongue. The infamous tongue. Almost. Almost. Halfway. Now I want to move things off of here. And take, put this out of the way. Seems like there's one missing. I know there's one missing somewhere. Oh, God, that was magic. Okay. Well, today, Pastor is what? Okay, anything else I need to correct? I'm going to I'm going to deconstruct it here in a minute so it really doesn't matter. Okay, I wasn't sure how this uneven rug was going to work. Well, today pastor's going to talk about cornerstone. So I thought I'd do something around that. So, I want to start with a Bible verse, Ephesians 2:19 and 20. It says, so then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself, the cornerstone. Now, do any of you guys know what a cornerstone is? No? Well, back in Jesus' time, I'm going to reference it to that. Uh, Back in Jesus' time, most of the buildings were built out of stone. They cut them into blocks. And then to get a building to line up perfectly, you started with one stone called the cornerstone. And you placed it such that the rest of the building would be built out of that, perfectly straight. They could draw their straight lines from there and line it all up so that it was firmly firmly placed and the building would be really strong. So they started there. And I wanted to talk about different kinds of foundations. Now, if we had a foundation, this is the ceiling. If we had a foundation that started, oh, does anybody ever have problems like believing what your friends say? Like, are you telling the truth? Are you making this up? Okay. Well, if we build a, this is the kids. If we build a foundation on what our friends say and we build our foundation on maybe the news maybe Facebook we're reading way too much of that Instagram Twitter TikTok Uh, what else is there X that's a stupid name isn't it X okay and now we're talking we're hearing rumors and wild stories and people are just making up all kinds of stuff that who knows if it's real or not it's really hard to figure out where your foundation is when you're not basing it on something solid right none of this is solid none of life's what surrounds us in life is the solid stuff We have to learn to discern through all that and figure out what's going to work. This isn't going to fall for me. So when something isn't built on a firm foundation, that foundation can move. It can wiggle. It can cause us to change directions, doubt ourselves, doubt everything that's going on in our lives because you can't just pivot because somebody said something. You've got to make sure you discern in your heart what's true and what's not true. So the deal is, if you start with a firm foundation, 
which is Jesus. Jesus is the cornerstone. Okay, we're going to pretend we're going to build an apartment building. Now, we've got Jesus as a foundation, and we've got the apostles and all their teachings. They followed Jesus, and they knew just what to teach because Jesus taught them. And then we have some of the, the prophets, and the prophets prophesied things that God wanted the people to know. Now, in this apartment building, we've got Jesus as our foundation. Don't let me get this word will fall. And then we've got our parents. Our parents are part of that foundation. Because I think of every layer of this little building as a foundation for the next thing, like the next generation, the next group of people that are coming along, the pastors, the the church people, like Melody, like Don, like everyone here. And they give us that firm foundation that we can build our life on. Sometimes it might be hard, and it sounds like a lot, or maybe we don't even like it in the moment. But if you keep your eyes on Jesus, this is going to stay strong no matter what. And then you guys are here. Even the older kids, like MJ and Haven, these older kids are there to guide you too. And if they have a firm foundation, then you should listen to them and you help them if they don't seem to have one. So there's Avery, Amjar, Riley, and we've got Bella, and there's another one. There's Isabel, and Cannon and uh, Hudson, I thought were going to be here. There's Towns and Ava. Oh, they are here? Where are they? Oh, oh, you're hiding. I get it. Okay. So there's Cannon and Towns and Ava and James, Gabby. Hudson, we got any more? Olivia, Olivia, and Corey. It's y'all's responsibility to be a foundation for your siblings. It's very important because they look up to y'all. So we've got all these people who love us and all of you, and we're all in this building, which is the kingdom that we're building, and we're, we're the ultimate goal is to get to God's kingdom. But all this, we're building together, guys. This is our family. This is our foundation with Jesus. And we are building his kingdom here on earth. And we're all doing it together. And we, can, we know no bounds because we have trust and faith and patience and lots and lots of love. And God's looking after us, and Jesus died for us. And, oh, my gosh, there's nothing better, is there? Nothing better. So we can put the ceiling on the building, and we've got a strong foundation to live our lives. We've got lots of people that are here to guide us, lots of people we can talk to. Um, and that's even teachers and special people in your lives. So don't you want that foundation? Don't you want to be able to... Come back around and say, Jesus, I'm getting a little loose here, but I have a place to come back to that's nice and strong, and I feel safe and loved, and that's the way he wants us to feel. He wants us to all be God's family together, and I think that's great because I couldn't think of a bunch of kids that I would want in anywhere that I wouldn't want in my family as much as I love you guys. So I hope you... Understand that everything that you're learning here and everything that your parents and teachers and mentors and pastor, everything you're learning is for the rest of your life. And we're giving you the best foundation. So that's my, that was what I was going to do today, and I did it. Does anybody have any questions? Come on, Ava. No? Okay. Well, I just wanted to show you that a firm foundation with Jesus is very important. And Pastor's going to expound on that, I think, a little more for us grown-ups. But I wanted you to get the idea. So is that good? All right. Okay, guys, y'all can go on to Children's Church. <laughs>